Hi, this is Brian with the Instructional Tech Coordinator team here in the School District of Waukesha. In this video, I'm going to show you how to move larger components of a course, including the whole navigation bar, copying that over into other courses. This is really useful if, for instance, you're new to a district or teaching a new class for the first time, or really like another person's structure uh, of their Blackboard course, and you'd like to bring some of that content, or more than just a few of those items, into your class, into your Blackboard course shell, without having to make a lot of copying and pasting and retyping of information. So let's get started. In this particular case, what I'm trying to do is this. I have a lot of classes here, but there's two classes in particular that I'm looking at. Here I've got this Yearling PSI Summer 2014 class, a class that I taught last year. And here's a new class that I'd like to move some of those components into PSI 2015. So what I'm going to do is go into my old class where the content is that I want to copy. This might be also where I'm enrolled in another colleague's course as a teacher in that course. And here are the two elements that I really need to move. Very important information one and also very important. Those two pieces need to be moved into my 2015 course. Here we're not looking at just copying and moving, as we showed in, in one of the earlier videos. Here we're talking about actually taking all of the content that's inside of very important information and very uh, also very important, and moving that along into the other course with just a couple clicks. So here, let's get started. First off, it's important to note I am a teacher in this course. I know that I'm a teacher because I have the edit button here, the edit privileges. I also can see the control panel, which is the key to being able to do this. I'm going to come down to the control panel in the course of the content that I would like to move to my other course, in this case PSI 2014, and I'm going to click on Packages and Utilities. Now of all my options here, there's only one that really makes sense, which is to export Archive Class. So we're going to export this. You can see I've done this previously, so we're going to just go ahead and click Export Package. So I leave most of the settings alone up here. The only thing that I really specifically need to check are the areas that I'd like to copy from this course into my other course. There are times when maybe moving everything over makes sense, so in that case I'd use Select All. But if it doesn't make sense to, to move everything or I don't happen to want all elements of that person's course, I'll just click the parts that I do want. There, that'll take care of it. Now I click Submit. What it's going to do is it's going to start an action in the background that'll basically start making a copy of this particular portion of the course that I can download and then bring into my new course. This can take anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours, depending on how much cop content you really need to copy. Let me see if I can refresh that one more time. There it is. So it's the most recent one in the list, okay, based on my timestamp. And all I need to really do is click on the link, and it's going to download it. Now, I put this on my desktop to make it easier to find, and you can also give it a unique name if you wish. I'm just going to leave it named as it is and put it on my desktop. So that's all for this course. Now I'm going to go over to the course where I'd like this content to be moved to. In this case, it's PSI 2015. And I'm going to go through a very similar process here. I'm a teacher in this course. I have my edit button. I'm going to go down to the control panel, packages and utilities. But instead of exporting, now I'm going to import that package. This is not a class cartridge. That's a very different set of tools. This is just a package that I've downloaded and I'm going to put in place here. So I click Import Package. Then I click Import Package. I'm going to browse my computer to find that downloaded file that I just downloaded. There it is. That's why it's helpful to name it sometimes. It's, it makes it a little easier to find. And then finally, I'm going to select the type of content that I downloaded. So in this case, I know I downloaded two content areas. Those are the most common ones. From there, I'll click Submit. 
And now you can see it's going to take a little time. It was waiting, now it's moved to running, and now it's complete. If I refresh my page here, you'll notice that now in my PSI 2015 course, everything that was very important information one and also very important, two areas of my content uh, navigation bar, are now there. And sure enough, so are the items that were inside of that. So if you need to move a whole section from your navigation bar in your Blackboard courses from one course to another, you like how somebody else has taught something, you just want that content that they've got, have them enroll you in the course as a teacher, and then you can copy that information over. It's important finally to note that when I make changes to this now copied content, which is in, exists in my new course, it will not change or impact that other person's course. Their content will exactly stay as it was, and your content will now be able to be changed without impacting them. So that's how you move large bundles of content from one course to another in Blackboard.